On this Veterans Day, a man in Santa Fe County hopes to reunite a soldier with an important piece of his property. Action 7 News' Portolano Grimstad explains what memento ended up in the desolate New Mexico desert. A badge of honor worn near a soldier's heart. They wear it around their neck, so it's sort of intimate. Discovered by chance. This place is full of treasures. You never know what you're going to find. Carl Merkline was walking his dog along a remote arroyo in the small, quiet village of Cerrillos. Right there in the sand, something shiny caught his eye. It's right there in front of me. And his imagination hasn't stopped since. I knew what it was immediately. Merkline Klein found a military dog tag for a man named Alberto Cano Jr., a complete stranger. You can't help wondering who this person is and what kind of experience they might have had. A little research tells Merkline the dog tag is from the Vietnam War. I can feel his emotion, or I imagine what his emotion may have been the first time he held it in his hand. So now the big question, how did the dog tag end up here? Carl has one theory. He says up and down the Arroyo you find the remains of these old abandoned cars. Perhaps the dog tag came from one of these. And I wonder how long it's been since he saw it last. Merkline is really touched by his discovery and, especially on Veterans Day, feels a strong connection to the tag's rightful owner. I'd hope to know that he got his tag back. That's what I hope. In Surios. I want to hear the end of this story. Alana Grimstad, KOAT, Action 7 News. And now we know how the story ends. Tonight we found Alberto Cano, the Vietnam vet, told us on the phone he didn't even know his dog tag was missing. I'd like to know, you know, where, where it's been and how it wound up, you know. It, it, I'm sure it has an interesting story to tell. Cano lived in Santa Fe for 15 years but now lives in Sacramento. The vice president